Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. I've recently took my Remix website and migrated it from the Remix dev server over to the Vite dev server. This made building and refreshing locally super fast. But this also enabled me now to take the blog portion of my website, which was traditionally based on markdown files that I read from the file system, and move that over to Vite's import meta glob syntax. Now, first let's talk about why this is awesome. Here's my website, and as you can see, clicking around it is super fast. This is because Vite powers this and it makes it very, very quick to load in these modules, these markdown modules, rather than treating them like files in the file system that have to be read and processed every time. Another awesome thing there is that as I'm writing a blog post, I actually get hot module reloading for my content. So I'll split this over to the left, I'll move this over to the right, and you'll see if I go to that post and make some edits like, hey doggy, and save it, you'll see that the text gets added there automatically. I didn't have to go there, refresh the page, do anything else. This is because this is treated like source code, and when the source code changes, Veet reruns the build and renders the output. So let me show you how I accomplished all this. First of all, here's the PR. It'll be linked in the description below. So I'll walk through the main parts of this. So first off, we start with the Vite config. I grabbed this new Vite plugin called Vite Plugin Markdown, and this essentially enables you to process .md files. You grab the mode, and then you grab the plugin, and I renamed it to Markdown and I added this into the plugin section of the Vite config. And so here you just say mode and what modes you want rendered. In this case, I just want the raw markdown. I have my own unified pipeline that transforms that markdown the way I want it to. I didn't want to put all my plugins here, mostly because when I import this stuff, I wanted just the raw data. So this essentially now allows us to import .md files. And, and this is really cool because Vite has another cool thing called this import meta glob syntax. So this is my git post method. I used to just use node, read the file system, pull in that markdown file and parse that data. In this case, no, I say, look, get me all of these files, everything in my content post directory that ends in MD. So this will slurp up all the markdown files eagerly in this case. Um, and run run it through that Vite plugin markdown. And so on the other side, we get these files, which is a record of the string, which is the path to that file. And then in this case, a type of markdown post front matter. So this will have uh, not only the markdown content, but also the front matter. So now I can just iterate over that, grab the front matter, which is in file.attributes, to have my posts. And then, you know, I process them, grab the latest one, sort by date, all that. That is now how I create my blog listing page. Uh, I can do the same thing if I want to get a post by a slug, so get a single post. Uh, Vite doesn't have a great way to do this, to Im dynamically import a single file. Uh, you have to specifically specify that, and Vite can't statically analyze it. So in this case, I just bring all of them in, and then I, I reference that in this object notation where I say, hey, I want the one at this path then I can do whatever I want with it. Like in this case, actually transform the markdown into HTML and then send that on to my application. Now, a benefit here of that is that it greatly simplifies my tests. Like previously in my test, I was having to like mock out the node file system API and do all this crazy stuff. Not anymore. These are treated like source code now. So when I import it, they're just there in the bundle. They're ready to use. And so I got rid of all my file system mocks, all the fake data for posts, and I can actually assert on my actual content. There is a downside here. If I add or remove an old post or something like that, it may make my tests a little bit brittle if I'm expecting the wrong things. In this case, I am using the, the file system API to read the directory, get how many posts I have, and make sure that git posts returns that many. Now, another fringe benefit here is that now that I no longer rely on the file system API, 
I can run my website on the edge. So think somewhere like Cloudflare Workers that doesn't have support for Node's file system APIs. This is really powerful because that means users won't have to go as far to reach the origin server to get my website. Overall, this transition to the Vite based blog has been really, really positive for me. So check out that PR, see how I did it, and show me what y'all build with it. See y'all in the next one. Peace.